Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent for the city of New York. It is November 13, 2017. Stomping out corruption, speaking truth to power. That's what we're doing here. The issues of free speech, the right of people to speak their minds in an open forum. Right? Means a lot to me. Should mean a lot to you, too. So, um, this is going to be a, uh, a bit of a. This is a kind of a disturbing video that has uh, uh, come forward. And so the DSMY has always um, attested that we don't punish people if they don't write 10 tickets. We don't have a quota, right? That's always been the argument. That's continued, That's still their continued um, uh, public face. That's the, the public, the, you know, they have a private face, a, a private opinion and a public opinion like most Democrats, the, you know. Remember that from Hillary? She has a, a private face and a, and, a, and a public face. Well, the, the public face at DSMY is we don't have a quota. No, 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 no. We never, we never, we, we use uh, sectoring and, 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 uh, and uh, block facing. And, uh, and the, you know, we use these sorts of things to, 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 to meet our, our, our uh, productivity levels. Right? So they, they, they talk about, they got all those bullshit smoke screens, right? Right. So it but it turns out, look, I stand corrected. Right. Right. Supervisors. I always said that they never receive any kind of training. Right. But it turns out that they they actually do. I stand corrected. Right? I stand corrected. Right? Supervisors do, in fact, receive some sort of managerial training. Right. So um, a D the reason I say this, a DSNY, um, a human resource training video distributed by Deputy Director Michael Burke has surfaced. And uh, this short, I'm going to play a short excerpt, and it gives you an overview of how supervisors are properly uh, trained to manage their staff. Right? So supervisors are required to watch this video and then do uh, sign documentation uh, that they understand this official DSNY managerial position so let's let, let's let's take a look at let's take a look at what's going on right now we'll watch this ready you sure i'm positive i'm a little confused you're a little confused maybe if i stick your fucking face through uh, this window over here like you know you'll you'll get unconfused give me the fucking money i'm sorry i didn't mean anything yeah i know that's why you had it ready you thought i was fucking laying it I'm fucking it Fucking head, huh? Smart enough. Fuck around, Tony. <laughs> right? Give me the fucking money. Give me the fucking money. You come back, give me the fucking money. That's how they train people. It's all about the tickets. It's all about the money. Give me the fucking money. Give me the fucking money. Go out there. This is what we're paying you to do. Write the fucking tickets. Give me the fucking money. <laughs> so, you know, it's crazy. It's some crazy shit. Man. There's some crazy shit going on over there. Right? So... So anyway, let's get back to um, this the the real the real seriousness. I mean, the real seriousness of this is uh, is that people uh, uh, get damaged by this uh, this this uh, quota. How how are people damaged because they're being forced to break the law, and every once in a while someone comes along and is is going to uh, is not going to roll over. They're not going to roll over and not going to. They're not going to break the law for you and uh, your illegal policy. So this is one example. This this is a an agent. He's um, he he. I, I've I've had a conversation with him. He's even willing to testify in court. He's willing to well that I, I scratch that. He's willing to to do a a uh, one to one uh, interview with me. And we're gonna we may we may just do that. I, I'm not sure. It's up to him. But uh, he was a, uh, a sanitation enforcement agent, uh, same year, in my class, right? And um, this is his um, audio, um, audio recollection, uh, actual audio of him being badgered by a um, sanitation enforcement agent supervisor. Her name is Supervisor Kerr, K-E-R-R, -R, Supervisor Kerr. She is a lieutenant, right? All these positions are, are kind of nonsensical positions, but because they're all considered associate agents, anything above the actual agent is considered associate agent. So she is a lieutenant. So she graduated to, to sergeant, and then she graduated to supervisor, and so she must have a lot of a lot of skill, you know, in, in managing people and 
and she probably knows all about exactly what it is that is required of you in the job, right? Of course, she's a lieutenant, right? So, so here you go. These are. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna play the the audio and I'm gonna comment on it and then I'll put the entire audio clip. It's it's about six minutes, and you, so you could you'll hear my commentary and then if you want to advance and just hear the, you know the unadulterated un un uh, unedited uncommented uh, version it'll be at the end because they'll always say oh Mr. Conti you're taking everything out of context you didn't see what I said before and what I said after that's why it's important to listen to the whole clip in its entirety like with the Ortigo Ortiga audio the initial audio listen to all 22 minutes and you hear in his own words you hear the very casual you know the the very um, non-confrontational manner the normalization of the illegal quota that's what you hear like it's all normal this is not anything that you know is is um is considered outrageous you know like to to say oh you better write 10 tickets or you're fired so in this audio you're going to hear a direct threat right that the supervisor Kerr is going to make a direct threat his name is hazel right the SEA Hazel, so Agent Hazel, right? You're going to hear the agent, you're going to hear the, sorry, the lieutenant make a direct threat on his job, right? Termination. You, if you don't do what we tell you to do, you're not going to be, if you don't write the tickets, if you don't do the job, the job is to write tickets, you're out of here, right? So you're going to hear it. Let's, let's roll right into this and, uh, you know, buckle up for this one. This is pretty brutal. On a Saturday, they have a, quite a few food stands over there that have been having stuff at the curbside. You guys would have gotten six. So why is when you had a seat with them, you should have offered, tell them to go to 13 and offer them different options. Because you had a seat with them. We right? just get to 11 when he sees us. We well, just arrive in 11. Yeah. You could have gone to 13. Can that be Okay, you could have gone to 13. District 10 was closed. Okay, so... So with the zero visibility. So so what? The areas like on days like today, like on a, a days when it rain. Cause the department they don't care. They're not gonna they're not gonna look at it and say oh you went already. They don't want to hear that. I could tell you that from now. So they. Okay, so there's a lot of things going on. I want to explain what's going on. First of all, the the agent comes comes back at the end of the day, and he has two tickets. <laughs> they want ten. Right, so he's he's in a position where now he's he's in front of the lieutenant and he's handing in his paperwork and he has two for the day. Right now, you, you're also hearing a there's another there's a sergeant. Right, you're, you're hearing this business of that he had a C with Agent uh, uh, Agent Hazel. Right, the, the the sergeant's in the background. And he's saying, yeah, I had a C with them. Right, so they were they were assigned to one. Um, and Hazel obviously has a partner that we're not we're not hearing in the conversation. So there's probably four people in the room. So the the sergeant says that he went and visited Hazel and saw the two tickets, and then he never instructed him to take on two districts instead of the one. Right? Spread yourself out. You take on two parts of of Brooklyn. This is in Brooklyn, at, rather than just the one we gave you. So you can you can you have more space to go find those goddamn ten tickets, right? You're also hearing zero visibility. That that is the cheapest, shittiest ticket, right? They they give that one for like if you have a you know the A-frame, like an advertisement in front of like a commercial, like a store has a you know like Boost Mobile or one of those guys they got like the you know come in and buy our phone or buy our shoes. Tax paying merchants can't if they put that on the street. In certain areas, these jackoffs go there and give you a ticket because it's what's called zero vis visibility. Those tickets almost never stick, right? You go down and you fight those. But the the point is that you, that's what you're hearing. You're hearing. You're hearing. I just you have to preface this so you're not going to know what's going on, right? So it's it's the agent coming back with two tickets, and he he has a C with his sergeant. The sergeant doesn't tell him to do it. Gives him no direction whatsoever, no guidance. Go over here. Go over there. And now he's standing in front of the lieutenant, 
and this is what they always do. You should have done this. You should have done that. There's no excuse. You should. You should. I told you. You should have done that. No, you didn't say the, the, the sergeant because they're poorly managed. They're poorly managed. Super, they don't know anything else but to write tickets, right? That's the only thing. And this, the, the sergeant, he's not going to go tell them. He's not going to follow them around to write tickets. He wants to go feed himself or go shopping, whatever the fuck they do, right? So... So let's keep listening. They don't want to hear that. If you guys are assigned two districts, I'm gonna, and we have people. I, I'm going to back that up. I, that. I could tell you that from now. So she, the lieutenant says they don't want to hear that. The super, the the Burke and and the management, they don't want to hear that you wrote two tickets. They want to hear you wrote ten tickets. Days like today, like on days when it rains. Watch it. Watch what you say. But the department, they don't care. They're not gonna. They're not gonna look at it and say, "Oh, you went all over." They don't want to hear that. I could tell you that from now. So they don't do want to hear that. If you guys are assigned two districts, and we have people that are assigned the same districts. The same with the permission and you Ten. go up there. Well, I was in this district three times anything. this week. Look at, my, look at my numbers from earlier this week. Yeah, look at my Even numbers from the same, same district three. this week. But they got, they can't just come in that. I was in there three times this week. Look at the other you days. You can't expect me to go in the same place. place. No, you don't, world, you don't have to go on the same. You don't have to go on the same. You don't find the same thing. There are thousands of commercials out there. A whole residential is twice the amount of commercials. I mean, we in the district that... You could, have gone to 13. you could have gone to 13. If you have gone to 30, you would have gotten a lot of work. Okay, so if you would have gone, if you would have expanded yourself to another section, you would have gotten a lot of, quote, work. Work means you would have gotten the 10 tickets. There's, also, I want to explain about this recording. There's, there's some sort of noise cancel, cancellation going on where I think the person, that, whoever's phone it was, has a noise canceling function where... When there's no sound, it it drops. So you hear these dropouts, but that's the way that the, I'm not. It's no editing. There's no editing of content. All right, so that's all. But let's go. Let's keep going. Thirteen Bright Beach Avenue on a Saturday is zero. The hardest hard work. Zero. We get there at eleven. We get there. Hold on. Let me ask you. End. We get there at eleven. We at ten. By by twelve o'clock, that's when we come to the scene. We was we so we went over to eleven. You ride around 11 to try to find some of this. And I gave you 13 as an option. Why didn't you go to 13? I told you. We get to, you we get, we get 13, to 11. You can go. We get you to 11 on one of So you see the lieutenant is saying, I told you, I told you. But she didn't tell them. She told the supervisor, the, the sergeant, who failed to tell them. Right. So again, you see the mismanagement. It's just... It's rampant. The, sup the the sergeant's supposed to come over there and supervise, but they don't do it because they, they don't. They don't. They're not. They're poorly trained. They don't know what they're doing. Right? They have sometimes they have five supervisors managing ten people. <laughs> you know, it's just it's a shit show, right? So no, let's keep going. But but there she is. You know, she's going over the sergeant's head. Right? She's going right to the agent, badgering him about the ten tickets. And the sergeant's probably not even in the room anymore because he didn't do his job, so he, he takes off, right? Uh, one hour and a half to 30, I was in back to the We didn't do an hour and a half trying to go to 13. I went, whoever well, it is that want to come and say something with this, you can't put me no, in the same district three times. Not, no, then no, no, you want to go over there at the time. Listen to me, no. They can't you expect that. They got to be more realistic than that. You know they can't be more realistic? I wish that somebody could. I know you can go to the same district every day, but you can't expect to come back the same numbers. She says the apart the, the department is paying you to do a job. Paying you, paying you. What are you talking about, Mr. Hazel? Fuck you. You get you we're paying you. We're paying you to go out there and write tickets. That's the job, right? You get two, we want ten. You didn't do your job, right? Clear as day, folks. It's it's no this is not even like there's no gray area here. Because they're paying you to do a job. To, yeah. If you to, sign up for the job, and if I go back, you to take it. Right, and if I go back so and there's no more summers, what do you want me to do? You have other options. You have other district. I offered you another district. So right there. So you, if you didn't, they, 
she says that that you signed up for this. We didn't. We didn't. We're not making you do the job. No, that's a lie. Because in the training class, there's no there's no policy mention of a ten ticket quota, right? So that's a lie. That's 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 you can call that employment fraud right there. Because you would never. If you told me, I told I wrote it in my in my in my appeal. If you would have told me that there was a ten ticket quota, I would have said, "Fuck you! I'm out of here. I'm not going to do this. It's illegal." Right, but they don't say that. Right, you go through the training, you give up your other, you know, other things in life that are going on, and you take on this job because you think you're going to help the community. And me, and then you get into the field, and this is what you experience. You experience bonehead, you know, aggressive supervisors pounding on your head to write ten tickets. Okay, I'm not making it up. Right, this is in her own words. Let's continue. You should have gone there. Why you understand? I just explained to you why I went there. We get there at 11. You see, that's all that's all that's working in the place. There's no excuse. After I explain to myself, there's no excuse. It's not excuse, it's explaining it to you. This is not the first time. That what? The only other time I ever bring back two? The only time I ever bring back two is when they put me in the wall. There's no other time I bring back two. Some of doesn't want to hear that. That's very important. So he said. The, the, the idea that they, uh, DSMY has always said, well, we'll put you on sectoring and foot patrol and, 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 uh, and uh, block facing, right? And that'll bring your numbers up. But you, you hear in actuality that he, when he's put on foot, he brings back two, right? <laughs> it's punishment. They, the, the, the idea that, that, that they, they hold that, it's very important that you know that, that they, they hold that foot patrol, right? Like today in New York, it's raining out, and if you just get stuck in foot patrol, you're gonna you, and it's cold. It's 30, 35 degrees. It's a cold rain, and they'll stick you out on 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 the street, walking around like an idiot, you know, trying to find tickets that you can't actually, you can't actually do that. It's not actually possible. So, and you hear him in his own words. He's saying the only time I bring back to is when you, when you put me on foot. So they're targeting him. He's on foot patrol because he's doing less than ten tickets. Right, so that that's what you're hearing there. Let's go. Okay. Are you just trying to say that this is not the first time I told you it is? So we should go straight to thirteen. You could have gone to thirteen. Straight to thirteen. We don't know what it's first event. Did the first one we get to 10, 11, 13. You could have gone to thirteen. Thirteen. You're right next to eleven. Eleven and thirteen is right here. All right. So I'm just letting you know. Remember your information. They. Listen, you're on probation. Listen to what I'm saying. You have too many excuses. I know I explain I explain it myself. If I can't explain myself, I explain it myself and the excuse is two different things. So if anybody, anybody wanna come and tell me that nonsense it won't work. So you're trying to tell me this is not acceptable. So who gonna come to me and tell me this is? I would wish they're paying you to do a job. They can tell you anything they want to tell you. Exactly, but that ain't fair, but you guys can't just tell me anything you feel like I'm thinking that way. You won't you won't you won't fire me? Oh, because what? I am probation. So you're supposed to tell me whatever. Okay, but well, if you reflect right and if, on your and if, evaluation, and if they see you're not doing anything, then they have the right to tell you not to come back. Okay? If, if, so, not, um, if they don't find me in the first year because of this, why do you want to stay here another two years for them to tell me that and bring me no, down for the next two not, years? You're not going to pass the first year. Exactly, that's what I'm trying to say. Why do you got to stick through something like this? So there you go. That was a direct threat, right? She said... You're not going to make it past the first year. You're a probationary employee. And if you don't give us 10, you're not going to make it past the first threat. They don't want to hear it. That's a, a, that is direct evidence, okay? That's just direct evidence of, of using coercion to force agents to write 10 tickets. So, Your Honor, there you have it. You know, this is... This is powerful, man. This is powerful. This kid is just a, like an honest kid. He, you know, he, he, he went out there, he did his job, and here he is in the room. They're telling him, you're not going to make it past probation unless you give us our 10 tickets. That's it. Why would, why would I want to go past the first day of this witness? And he says, why would I want to go past of the first year if this is what it is? If, this is, if all the job is is to write tickets... And meet your quota. Why would I want to even stay here and do it? Right? He's just an honest kid, right? He's like, 
probably in his 20s, a nice kid. I met him a few times, you know, I did talk to him, you know, social. He's a really good guy. <laughs> That's a, the cool. phone. Yes. I bet you want to work for the only other times when they put me to walk on photo street. Anyway, you, can't you were off for 13 and you didn't go. You could have gone here. You never made any attempt on the ceiling. Look at 41 miles. Look at how many miles I drive. Uh, just to clarify, he wrote he drove 41 miles. That's a lot, right? In the course of a a, a daily patrol, I I would get 10 tickets sometimes, and I wouldn't even drive 20 miles, right? So he put in the time. They're all over the place, you know. They they're driving all over the place. He clocked 40 miles on the on the car, and he was covering the ground, and him and his partner didn't see it based on. What he had said, he got hit, he got caught in traffic. There was confusion as to what zone he was in, right? But it's his fault. All it's always the agent's fault, right? He did. He documented on his 144. He he went out. He suited up. He did the job. He surveyed the community. He he went to the district. He was supposed to go. The supervisor came and gave him the C to see how many tickets he had didn't gave him no further direction they continued on and now he, he's getting badgered now it's all his fault two miles get the 11 2 30 had to come back it's not yes two -thirds. I, I go to be in two thirds if you think that's that's you. so she's lying it doesn't it's not two-thirds to get from the zone to 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 their district is like is only like three miles four miles brooklyn is not 40 miles brooklyn the the whole island the whole piece of property is only five miles that's bullshit that's that's a lie it was five miles to get there or six miles six, six miles they are coming That's about much. 13 miles, right? That's about 13 miles. Coming back from there, roughly about 13 miles. Two miles from here? Yes, it is. I drive to Brooklyn South every single day. So, 20, so 26 is not a two thirds. Okay. 41. Okay. We ended up from that. You have 15 remaining. All right. 15 miles is not. So there you have it. You know, I just wanted to do a little re, you know, a recap. That was, you know, you heard, you know, the the notion that that um, there is no quota and that there is no punishment if you don't, if you fail to meet that quota is now off the table. This is Mr. Hazel has offered us, and and Miss Kerr have offered us direct evidence, direct evidence of. You, the use of coercion to enforce an illegal 10 ticket quota at New York City Department of Sanitation. So that's now that's now confirmed. I also say it, uh, I'll put this out there. If anybody, Miss Kerr or Mr. Burke um, or anybody else, any other supervisor or anybody else who has appeared in any of these audio clips, I'm making you the the opera. I'll put my here's my I'll put my email right here. Okay, I'll put it right here. There's my email. See my email? That's my email right there. Shorthappylife at gmail.com. You get in touch with me, and we will arrange to have your voice heard in video, my terms, my location. Okay, we'll do it in public. All right. So I'm making you a formal invitation to come forward and tell your side of the story. Did we hear something that we we are we, am I misinterpreting what you said? Am I misrepresenting you or any of those things? Well, here's your chance to come forward. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Hazel. Thank you, Ms. Kerr, for <laughs> spilling the beans. Okay, Keep up the good work, everybody. Keep the videos coming. Keep it coming. You know, it's we're, there, there's a, in stuff like this, is a tipping point. They're still in control because you guys are afraid to come forward, right? When you're afraid to come forward and you're, we're still using aliases, uh, that's they're still in control. So once you know, but once once we can push them over the edge, and you can come forward without fear of uh, repu you know, retaliation, then then we know we've won the war. So just keep up the pressure. Thank you very much. Right.
and I started there, they have a, quite a few food stands over there that be yeah. having stuff on the curbside. You guys would have gotten six. Like so why is when you had a C with them, you should have offered, tell them to go to 13 and offer them different options. Because you had a C with them. We when just get to 11 when he see us. We well, just if part of it was for, yeah, you could have gone to 13. Okay, you could have gone to 13. District 10 was schools. I told you all you could have 13. You could have gone to 13 and you could have gone on Bright Beach Avenue. You guys have to familiarize yourself with the zero visibility areas. Like on days like today, like on a, a days when it rains. Because the department, they don't care. They're not going to they not gonna look at it and say, oh, you went all right. They don't want to hear that. I could tell you that from now. So they don't want to say? hear that. If you guys are assigned two districts, or we have people that are assigned the same districts, the same weather condition, and they go up there. Well, I was in this district three times anything. this week. Look even at my look at my numbers from earlier this week. Yeah, look at my numbers from the same district three. this week. But they got they can't just come back. I was in there three times this even, week. Look at the other you days. You can't expect go, me to go in the same place. place. No, you don't, road, you don't have to go on the same. You don't have to go on the same. You will find the same thing. There are thousands of commercials out there. A whole residential is twice the amount of commercials. We in the district that. You Half could have the gone to open 13. Together. You could have gone to 13. If you've gone to 13, you would have gotten a lot of work. 13 Bright Beach Avenue on a Saturday is zero. The hardest part of work. Zero. We get there at 11. We get there. Hold on, let me ask you. End. We get there at 11. We in 10. By, by 12 o'clock, that's when we come to do the scene. We was, we, so we've been over to 11. We ride around 11 to try to find some of this. And I gave you 13 as an option. Why didn't you go to 13? I told you. We get to, we get, we get 13, to 11. We get to 11 on 1 o'clock. 1, an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. 30, you guys come back to the same. What are you going to do in an hour and a half trying to go to 13? I work, whoever it is that you want to come and say something with this, you can't put me no, in the same district listen, three times. Listen, then no, you no, want to go over there and say, Listen to me, no. They can't you expect that. They're going to be more realistic than that. You can't be assigned the same districts everywhere. The department is paying you to go to the same I know, you can go to the same district every day, but you can't expect to bring back the same numbers. Because they are paying you to do a job. To, yeah, to, you to, sign up for the job. And if I go back, you to take it. right? And if I go back so and there's no more summers, that's what you want me to do. You have other options. You are other district. I offered you another district. You should have gone there. Why you understand? I just explained to you Brian why I Beach went there. Avenue, we get there at eleven. Beach Avenue, there's no excuse, Hazel. This is not the first you see, that's all that's all that's right? working in place. There's no excuse. Not, After I explained to myself, there's no, no excuse. Not is, excuse, it's explaining not, to no, you. This is not the first time. That what? The you only other time I ever bring back two? The only time I ever bring back two is when they put me to walk. Listen. There's no other time I bring back two the summers. The doesn't want to hear that. Okay? Are you just trying to say that? This is not the first time I tell you. It is. I offered you 13. I told you all you could So we should go straight to 13. You could have gone to 13. Straight to 13. I didn't say we don't know how it is first. We went to the first one. We get to 10, 11, 13. 13. You could have gone to 13. 13 is oh. right next to 11. 11 and 13 is right here. Alright, so I'm just letting you know. Remember, you're on probation. They can, listen, you're on probation. Listen to what I'm saying. You have too many excuses. I know I explained explain myself. If I can't explain myself, I explain it myself listen. and the excuse is two different things. So if anybody, anybody want to come and tell me that no, it's not going to work. So you're trying to tell me. This is not acceptable. So who's going to come to me and tell me this thing? I wish. They're paying you to do a job. They can tell you anything they want to tell you. Exactly, but that ain't fair. But you guys can't just tell me anything you feel like I'm thinking that way. You want to you want fire me? Oh, because what? I am probation. So you're supposed to tell me whatever. Okay, well, it will affect your evaluation. And if they see you're not doing anything, then they have the right to tell you not to come back. Okay? Well, if if, so, gonna, uh, if they don't find me in the first year because of this, why won't stay here another two years for them to tell me that and bring me no, down for the next two not, years? You're not going to pass the first year. Exactly, that's what I'm trying to say. Why got to sit through something you're like this? Go past the first year, but I'm just saying. Why, will, why would I want to go past the first year if this is what it is? This is not the first time you've been. Bring back who? And, and, yes. I bet you want to work for the only other times when they put me to walk on Porto Street. Anyway, you, can't put you me were off for 13 and you didn't go there. You could have gone there. You never made any attempt. I'm just telling you. 
Look at 41 mugs. Look at how many mugs they already drank. It's not really for the tour. They gotta come back and that's 41 mugs, got their 11. 230 had to come back. 41 miles is, is two thirds of that is a distance you drive to and from the district when you take the highway. Oh, it's not? Yes. Two thirds? I, I go to Bitcoin South every day. I go to Bitcoin South. <laughs> two thirds? If you take yeah, the That's about what? If you take the GQ, it's about five miles to get there. Or well, six miles. Okay. If you take the GQ, six. it's from here. Six and six is four. Go to this trip. Alright? They got to come here some That's about 13 miles, right? That's about 13 miles. Coming back from there, roughly about 13, 13 miles. From here. Yes, it is. I drive to Brooklyn South every single time. So, 20, so 26 is not a two thirds. Okay. I'm 41. Okay. When you drive from that, you have 15 remaining. Alright? 15 miles is nothing to drive to. People drive less than that and come back with, with the, I mean, the, the work 